Hello everyone, welcome back. Happy Wednesday. This is Planet Zoo and I'm a little terrified because this is a really challenging game for me. And I'm still in the tutorial. I'm on my second zoo, so I'm, I'm in the rainforest with, with the, uh, the monkeys. Um, that was as far as I got when I first got this. I was so excited to get it. I got it in Planet Coaster and I was just like, yes, I'm gonna play with this. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God. This is super, super complex, but we will persevere. <laughs> so I am going to go resume my um, tutorial on how to do this. I don't mean to do that. So we're on the Madagascar Simeon Conservation Good. Project. Now that we've done that, we need to make sure to add climb-proof barriers to the top. This. That way the bonobos won't be able to climb out. I don't know just where to find sure these. Just make you've got the correct piece of barrier selected where, when you where do is that. It? So I had to repair it. I had to add these two sections that are really, as you can see, not, not, not straight really. But I don't know what to add for the habitat perimeter. Climb, oh, climb proof. La oh, I see left, right. I see. I'm an idiot. Wow, that took me. You know how much? You know how long this took me? I played 30 minutes trying to figure this out last night, and I got frustrated and quit. And then another 10 minutes just now. Clicked on a wall, climb proof became an option. I'm such an idiot. All right, so left. Now, is that, that's the wrong side? No, it's right. We need it, we need it to be right. Nicely done. I did it. And I think it's high time we unboxed those bonobos, wouldn't you say? <gasps> I boxed those bonobos the up, I did. Get sad if we leave them in there for too long. Oh, come on. Select the habitat barrier to bring up the habitat information panel again. Oh. And then open the Animals tab. Animals tab. And finally, click on Unbox All Animals to let them out. I expect um. some of them are fair bursting for the toilet. <laughs> so, They're probably going, what it the turns hell? out that as well as the old vet leaving, the zoo's mechanics did too. <gasps> we'll need to hire a couple of new ones so we can help stop any more breakouts. You see, mechanics do all sorts of helpful things around the they zoo, do. but one of their most important jobs is taking care of the habitat barriers. <laughs> Without mechanics around to repair them, the barriers will crack, crash, crumble, and fall, fall down. down. And before you know it, we'll be overrun with escaped animals. Go into the zoo section and then into the staff management area again. Zoo, zoo section. It's even pointing me the right way. I'm Hire like, a mechanic what? and then click on a path to place them in the zoo. Hire a mechanic, and then click on a path. And then click on the path again to hire a second mechanic. Oh. As you can see, you don't have to go back into them. staff management if you're hiring <laughs> lots of the same type of staff member. Difficulty medium. Oh, gosh, we have been busy, haven't we? Good work there. I'm off for a cuppa. Oh, I think Bernie You're off for a cuppa? Oh, what did she say? Oh. I hear you had a bit of an issue with an escaped bonobo. Yeah. The main thing is that he you was dealt with through the trash and scaring and the customers. Without the animals stealing someone's clothes, putting them on, and then walking out of the front gate. Wait, gap. what? You see, another key He's responsibility gonna... for our vets is animal research. Researching animals allows vets to unlock new enrichment items, additional information uh -huh. for our education resources, enhanced breeding programs, and improvements to food quality. Ooh. <laughs> the animals' food, not the vets. Oops. It'll take more than a research grant to improve the staff canteen. <laughs> anyway, well, as you can that. see, research is a key part of running your zoo. Okay. In order for a vet to undertake oh. research, they require a research center. And once again, that's something that this zoo is missing. So let's build one. I've marked out an area for you to put it. Aha. Whoa, I overshot. So we need a research center. Now, you've probably noticed that there's already a building where I want you to build the research center. Don't worry. You see, the building that's currently there is actually a hollow shell. So we're <gasps> no. able to place our new building inside of it. What, what? If you select the research center for placement and then hover over the shell, you'll see that it asks um. if you want to add the research center to the existing building. Okay, click to add it to the building. Oh, but that won't place it in just yet, though. First, we'll need to rotate our research center so it automatically connects to the path when we place it. 
And this was Z, right? Okay, I don't think this is where it's supposed to be. <laughs> Allie, I hope you're doing well. A few moments later. Oh, this might be as far as we get tonight. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, Christmas. There we go. Yes. <laughs> right. Splendid did work. It. Now that we have a brand spanking new research center, we can give our vets something to do in there. Ooh. Oh, by the way, it's worth noting that the vets will only do research when they're not required to do any other jobs. That said, you can change what jobs a vet does via their information panel. But let's not worry about that just now. That's incredible. So, let's get our vet researching Doing good, Allie. lemurs. Oh, Go wait. into the zoo section and select vet research. Um. Here, you can see a list of all the animals present in your zoo, and also all the potential Dreams. diseases that can occur. Oh God! Now, drag and drop your vet onto the ring-tailed lemur to start their research. Some animals, like lemurs, will have a climbing need. That means they have a requirement for a certain amount of climbing space. And you can fulfill that requirement by building them a climbing frame. Oh, God. Let's find out how much more climbing space our lemur friends need, shall we? Select one of them and bring up their information panel. I'm just afraid of, of putting it too close to something. And then also having... So if I... Can you... How do I tell if I've got it? It is very complex. Because it looks like it's above the ground. Just hanging out there. I wanted to sink it into the ground. When you hold shift, you can... Oh, shift, 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 shift. I was so close. Nope, not happening. So I guess I have to do this. Nope. You guys are going <laughs> to regret coming. Advance move. Is it advance move or rotate? Duplicate now. Duplicate now. This is what it was. It was advanced move and rotate. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So how is that? This one could still be up. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. So unless I sink it down like that. That looks like it gives him a bit of height, eh? I don't know why that's up there. Hey, okay. did I not get my, nope, that's not what I want. Um, explore the zoo, satisfy the retail, ringtail lemurs climbable area requirement. Put two of them down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what I need to do. I need to check on the lemur, don't I? Where are you, little guys? You're so cute. Still at 57%. Do I have to... Oh, that's a great climbing okay. frame for them. They're going to, to absolutely that. love it. Do you know what would make them even happier, though? Nicer food. But that's true of all of us, though, isn't it? You can unlock better quality food for animals through research. Luckily, we've already unlocked some for the lemurs, so all that remains is to make sure they get served it from now on. How? Let's bring up the habitat information panel by selecting the lemur habitat. Oh, sure. That's a bush. That's another bush. Lovely. Now select the animals tab. Oh my god. There we go. As you can see, we can set the food quality in here. 
Just click on the drop-down menu and select Grade 2 Food Quality. Grade 2 Food Quality. I did it. My mouth's already watering. <laughs> so, a new climbing frame and better food. Ooh. Oh, you've really spoilt those lemurs, Rocky. Okay. So far, we've done a lot of work with habitat animals, but now it's time to learn oh my all God, about exhibit monster? animals. <sighs> Let's build a brand new exhibit. You can't wait to get this one too. Oh my gosh, everybody seems exhibit. to like this. It's How about we a little complex, there? but they really do tell you what to do. Um, I'm just ditzy at um, following instructions and following the lighted, highlighted thingamajiggies. Lovely. Now let's build a new exhibit in the gap that's been left. Just add it to the building like we did with the research center earlier. Ah. Then pop it into the gap. Mine is zero. Okay, pop it in. And so exhibits are in here. And I guess we're doing the small one, yeah? And I guess I gotta turn it around like I did the last one, Raminar. Desperate for Super Zoo story. I am not sure about that one. Okay, does this one have any special? Hi, -o. I, I guess. I think I did it wrong again, didn't I? That's why I didn't okay, play. So I'm gonna do this. Perfect. Ah. The next thing to do. You played well for like nine years. Me too. I still play well. Monster? Open up the exhibit trading section and adopt <gasps> one. Oh wait. Oh, that's the extra one. Open up the exhibit trading section. I gotta buy a Gila monster. Oh my god. And there's only one for sale. He's nine and a half years old almost. Adopt. This animal is being adopted for cash. It cannot be released for the wild. Oh, sh shoot. Oh my god, I, you didn't reply. Oh my gosh, you guys are funny. Um, we're adopting we it. Do with send to the zoo. Animals, we need to send the Gila monster to the exhibit. Click on the exhibit to send it there. Look, the, the thing is came up. When you up. send an animal to an exhibit, it'll automatically be given the correct Wait, setter. did I just not do this? But that doesn't mean it's completely ready for them. Did I do so that? let's finish it off. We'll start by adding some enrichment items. Click on the exhibit to bring is up this the information one? panel. Okay. Good. Now click on the layout tab. The layout tab? Okay, I can't. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it looks like we've only got the enrichment it. level one items unlocked Hiding place. at the moment. Oh. Never mind. Let's turn on at least one of them for the healer monster. I see. That's totally. I totally understand. Now, what'd she tell me to do? What'd she tell me to do? Oh my gosh. Um. Okay. Build an exhibit. Add enrichment. Set the temperature and humidity. Temperature. What does it need to be, though? Ooh. Yeah, they're already looking. Maybe it's in here. Heal a monster. But it didn't say that. Um. Oh. So humidity for here is 15 to 25%. That's why it's giving me such a harsh. So you can go into Zoopedia, um, which is around here somewhere. Uh, here, I think. Notification here. Zoopedia. And look up the animal. So if I do 15 to 20 percent instead of 50, can I even get down there? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Whoa. That's the ticket. And the last thing we need to look at wow. is setting up the different windows. So click on the Windows tab. There's a Windows tab. So is that a management tab? Oh, oh. You can edit and customize any of the windows on an exhibit. A window can be closed and blank or have a two-dimensional background or even a three-dimensional background on it. Why don't you have a play around with the options? Uh-huh. So window one. Oh, I see. There's Ooh. also an exhibit education board. Pop them down near your exhibits to teach your guests about them. Let's add one now. I'm, I'm a little busy. Why does she, she want me to do so much stuff at the same time? Habitat webcam. Oh, this is what it is. I see. That's why I couldn't get it.
Okay, so then I have to do Gila Monster. There Lovely we go. Stuff. Now oh. our guests can learn all about our venomous friend here. Venomous. Right, it's... now, I've got a bit of a big job for you. Uh -oh. I need you to increase the number of species in the zoo. What? You'll probably want to adopt both habitat and exhibit animals to do so, which will mean building plenty of new habitats and exhibits for them. Go on, off you pop. What? I'll check in with you when you're almost done. What? What do you mean? She's leaving me by myself. Oh my god. Uh, I'm not comfortable with this. Off you go. I'll pop in when you're almost done. Really? Because it may take a while. Have at least 12 species in the zoo and we currently have 9. Okay. We could do this. But does that mean I have to build another enclosure? Or add to the enclosures that we already have? Okay, so, but the warthog does. The warthog, so the common warthog would be enriched by sharing its thing with the, these. So we could probably maybe get some sable antelope and um, some black wildebeest and maybe an African buffalo. But maybe not. Southern white rhino. Three to 15. Oops. Um, 420, they do need a water requirement, 20 meters of water, grade 3 to 425 foot, 420. So I'm, I'm guessing I just need to build a really big water, uh, build, bleh, big, okay, now I can't talk, build a really big enclosure, maybe the size of this whole area with some trees, and then, um, I don't know why there's stairs here. You can mix those animals if you would like. I would just make a pretty big space to make sure they all have enough room. I would suggest one male and two females. Exactly. That was my thought exactly, Kara, or something similar along those lines was what I was going for. And then I could even make an impression in, in the ground and fill it with water to meet their requirements, right? Instead of having it go into the water um, that's on either side of this thing and just do that. Since I've... Didn't I? Okay, so we've got I have to move that. that tree back. Yes, you can drag it around and also make it drag it around. Like this. Oh my god. Kara, you are the best. This is so much easier than going around. So this little square with the little weird arrow. You can drag it all around and then raise your height up. Ta-da! And then this is the up-down arrow. You see up and then down. So then, wow, look at that. That is so cool. So I'm going to leave it at four. That should be, yes, Kara. You guys rock, all of you. I made this beautiful enclosure. We've already got hippos and... Um, the I, so I keyed off this one from the main enclosure that I just built because I wanted some tapers because it won't let me adopt anything else. I wanted this as a huge, massive enclosure for like some buffalo and some spring deer and um, some warthogs so that they would all benefit from the interaction and stuff like that. Skunks. No skunks, honey. No, we're not buying skunks. No, no, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no Wolverines either. Hush. <laughs> but now it won't let me buy anything. That's what kind of what a taper is, kind of sort of. <laughs> uh, nope, nope. Let me go out of this. Out, out, out. And there's the taper. 50%, fertility is only at 50%, and immunity is at 50%, so that's kind of, that's kind of, do we adopt it? It, it looks, two votes, Cynthia, Cynthia comes in and goes, two votes for wolverines and skunks. <laughs> My husband said, you're his new friend, Cynthia, you've got his votes. All right, all right, so, so we've got a taper here. He's a bronze style, or bronze quality. But look at the fertility and the immunity. 
they're 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 uh, welcome in Cynthia by the way <laughs> they're not that great do we take a chance on this poor thing and then hope that that we can find a male for it um I mean I suppose oh my god I've got a time limit oh sh Christmas oh I guess we get adopted and hope it doesn't die send a zoo holy crap the delivery is scheduled so I want to refresh the list because I need another male taper, man. Another male taper. It's like the slots. Okay, maybe there was something broken. Cindy, you've been learning. A new animal has been arrived at the zoo. Yay. Wait. Why is it over here? Is it a skunk? No. Why is it? What the? Um, hello? Why is it in the hippo? Why is it in the hippos? Oh, my God. No, you're in the wrong move. i got to move you to... You're supposed to be over here. The hippos will kick your butt, man. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What? They turned him into the... Oh my god, I can't believe that they released him into the hippo thing. The animal. Low welfare. I, I'm not sure what that means. He imagines watching that those hippos. That was the taper in with the hippos. Because I clicked on it, it said he was scheduled or he was moved. Low welfare. What does low welfare mean? That his he has severe welfare issues. Well, yes, I haven't done his his thing Not yet. Oil. Oh, look, he's uh. he's running to drop this thing off. Please don't judge him. I'm not judging him. The hippos would judge him. Wow, well, he just tosses the box out and it grows big. And the taper's like, what the hell just happened? So then you can uh, click on, whoa, whoa, he was flying. Rip those cardboard boxes in the pouring rain. I know, right? So now it's hard shelter because I gave him the right shelter. Now it's at 100%, but the plants, there's no plants in there at all. So then I have to click on his environment and these are the ideal like plants that I can put in there. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is where you see how that one went. So I did it wrong then. So I just need to do the advanced and then sink it down like that. And voila. So that is much better. So now we need to see if we can find maybe another buddy for him. This is a girl. So plants are great. Hard shelter is great. Enrichment's great. So she's awesome. She's having a great life. We just need social. So if we do animal trading, and look, oh, a gold one, and it's it's a boy. Yes, please, only his size is at 33%, which is really weird. So we want to adopt that, send a zoo. I'm learning this, I'm learning this. So then we have this red thing over here. Delivery schedule. Let's hope it does not go into the hippo enclosure again. I will be really upset if it does. So that's a really cool, look how this is. And we've got a nice viewing area. We've got some trees in there. He's got some sprinklers. Taper tinder, <laughs> exactly. If they put that taper in the other enclosure, I'm gonna be so hot. You're really doing it. It's coming out great. Yo, you're so sweet, Ray Menara. Why do they have canoes in with the hippo? Um, wouldn't the hippo get upset and not know what it is and try and kill it? Because we've got a good boy coming in. Oh my God, look at all these people. Holy cow. That's a lot of people. This is why I don't usually go to places like this. <gasps> there he is, there he is, there he is. Look how small the box is and he throws it. And it jumps into this ginormous box. Yay! We have another taper. We have another taper. Yeah. Yeah. I can't do this very well. I suck at dancing. <laughs> He's so cute. Now let's see if they become friends. So we can't do breeding or anything else like that. So interspecies bonus. There is no interspecies bonus, which really flippin' sucks really sucks okay she's over here he's over here oh it's so cute okay so we got one now we're at 10 it still says nine though 
Oh, that's visiting players. Never mind. <laughs> I have nine visiting players. Taper came via Amazon Express delivery. It sure did. Okay, so let me see if there's anything. A group of, oh wow, a group of tapers is known as a candle. Why do we give them these crazy names? Tapers are important seed dispersers in their environment due to their varied diet and wide ranging foraging behavior. Okay, the closest evolutionary relative of the taper is the rhino. Nice. And I thank every one of you for being here with me through this torturous procedure. This was so much fun. It was so frustrating, but it was so much fun. I will see you all next time, most likely Friday. And um, thank you all so much. I really appreciate all you all, all of you all for hanging out here with me. Words are hard. And you have a lovely day or evening wherever you are. And Buckeye Bunny, thank you so much for stopping in. That was so sweet. It's so fun. All right, guys. You are always welcome, Cynthia. All right. Bye now, guys. Have a lovely day or evening. Be good to yourselves. Be kind and give yourselves grace. <laughs>